Yo, what's up everybody, it's Evergreen Travel here, back with another adventure. But this isn't your typical tourist trap, no way. We're going off the grid, off the map, to the places most people wouldn't even think about going. We're talking about the most secluded towns in America. Yeah, you heard that right. Places where the internet is spotty, the closest Starbucks is a four-hour drive, and the stars at night are the brightest things you've ever seen. We're talking about a different pace of life, a world away from the hustle and bustle, where things move a little slower and people live a little simpler. For the past six years, I've been digging deep, researching these hidden gems, these pockets of America untouched by the urban sprawl. And trust me, what I've found is both fascinating and inspiring. So buckle up, because we're about to dive headfirst into the heart of isolation and discover what life is really like when you're living on the edge of nowhere. First up, we're heading to the rolling hills of Nebraska to a town called Minone, population 50. Yeah, you heard me right, 50. Now, Minone isn't your typical tourist destination. There's no fancy hotels, no bustling restaurants, no souvenir shops hawking shot glasses and keychains. What Minone does have is peace and quiet, like a lot of it. Imagine waking up every morning to the sound of birds chirping, the wind rustling through the grass, the distant moo of a cow. No car horns, no sirens, no jackhammers tearing up the street. Just pure, unadulterated silence. It's the kind of quiet that city folks only dream about, the kind that allows you to hear your own thoughts for once. And the night sky? Forget about it. With zero light pollution, the stars explode across the sky like a million diamonds scattered on black velvet. You can actually see the Milky Way stretching from horizon to horizon, a sight most people have never witnessed in their lives. It's enough to make you feel small, insignificant even, but in a good way, like you're a part of something much bigger than yourself. But Manone isn't just about peace and quiet, it's about community. With only 50 people in town, everyone knows everyone. They look out for each other, support each other, and celebrate each other's successes. It's the kind of tight-knit community that's becoming increasingly rare in today's world, a place where people still wave at strangers and leave their doors unlocked at night. Life in Minoni is simple, yes, but it's also rich in ways that most of us can only imagine. It's a place where time seems to move a little slower, where people appreciate the simple things in life, and where the sense of community is as vast as the open sky above. I remember the first time I rolled into Minoni. It was late afternoon, the sun was setting, casting long shadows across the empty main street. I parked my car, got out, and just stood there for a minute, taking it all in. The silence was almost deafening, but in a good way. It was like the town was holding its breath, waiting for me to make the first move. I walked into the only store in town, a combination gas station, grocery store, and diner. The owner, a woman named Betty, greeted me with a warm smile and a, well, hello there, stranger. What brings you to Manone? We talked for a while about the town, about life, about the weather. She told me about growing up in Manone, about raising her kids there, about how much the town had changed over the years, and how much it had stayed the same. As I left the store, Betty called out, You come back now, you hear? Manone's always happy to welcome new faces. And as I drove away, I couldn't help but think that she was right. There was something special about Manone, something that stayed with you long after you left. Maybe it was the peace and quiet, the vastness of the sky, the friendliness of the people. Or maybe it was something more, something harder to define. Whatever it was, I knew that I would never forget my time in Minone, Nebraska. It was a reminder that sometimes the best things in life are found in the most unexpected places. As I walked through the fields during golden hour, the sun casting a warm glow over everything, I felt a sense of tranquility wash over me. Sitting by a small pond, I watched the water ripple gently, reflecting the sky above. It was a moment of pure serenity. I met a local farmer named John, who was working in his field. He shared stories of the land, of the seasons, and the rhythm of life in Minoni. At the farmer's market, I saw the community come together, sharing fresh produce, homemade goods, and laughter. Children played freely, their laughter echoing through the open spaces, a reminder of a simpler, carefree childhood. A local craftsman showed me his handmade goods, each piece telling a story of tradition and skill passed down through generations. As the day came to an end, the sunset over the fields was a sight to behold, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink. That night, the community gathered around a bonfire, sharing stories and songs under the star-filled sky. 
Looking up at the stars, I felt a deep connection to the universe, a sense of belonging that transcended the small town of Manon. My time in Manon was more than just a visit. It was an experience that touched my soul, a reminder of the beauty and simplicity of life. As I drove away the next morning, the town bathed in the soft light of dawn. I knew that Manon had left an indelible mark on my heart. Manon, with its vast open fields and endless possibilities, had shown me that sometimes the most profound experiences come from the quietest places. And as I smiled, feeling content and at peace, I realized that Manoni had given me a gift, the gift of silence, of community, and of a deeper connection to the world around me. It was a hidden gem, a surprising beauty in the countryside, and a place that I would carry with me, always. Next, we're traveling to the high desert of Utah to a town called Hanksville, population 219. This tiny town is nestled in one of the most remote and rugged parts of the state, a place where the vastness of the desert seems to stretch on forever. Now Hanksville is a different breed of secluded. It's not just off the beaten path, it's in a world of its own, far removed from the hustle and bustle of city life. Surrounded by miles and miles of red rock canyons, towering mesas, and otherworldly landscapes, it's the kind of place that makes you feel like you've landed on another planet. The terrain here is so unique, so alien, that it almost defies description, and in a way you have. The landscape here is so reminiscent of the Martian surface that it's easy to forget you're still on Earth. Hanksville is so remote, so desolate, so eerily similar to the surface of Mars, that NASA actually uses the surrounding area as a Mars simulation site. This is where astronauts come to train, to prepare for the challenges of exploring the red planet. Yeah, you heard that right. This tiny town in the middle of nowhere is a crucial part of our journey to the stars. Astronauts train for missions to the red planet just a stone's throw from this tiny town. They simulate living and working on Mars, testing equipment and procedures that will one day be used on actual missions. But Hanksville isn't just a playground for space enthusiasts. It's a living, breathing community, albeit a small one. The people here are resilient, resourceful, and deeply connected to the land. It's a living, breathing community, albeit a small one. The residents of Hanksville have carved out a life in this harsh environment, finding ways to thrive where others might struggle. People live here year-round, braving the harsh desert conditions, the scorching summers, and the frigid winters. They have adapted to the extremes, finding beauty and meaning in the challenges they face. Why? Because for some, the isolation, the stark beauty, the sheer remoteness of Hanksville is exactly what they're looking for. It's a place where they can find peace and solitude, far from the distractions of modern life. It's a place where you can escape the noise and chaos of modern life, where you can reconnect with nature, where you can truly be yourself, without judgment or expectation. Here, the desert becomes a sanctuary, a place of reflection and renewal. It's a place where the stars at night aren't just bright, they're blinding. The lack of light pollution means the night sky is a canvas of countless stars, a breathtaking sight that few places on Earth can offer. And the silence? It's not just quiet, it's deafening. The stillness of the desert is profound, a silence that envelops you and makes you acutely aware of your own presence. I remember driving into Hanksville for the first time. The journey itself felt like an adventure, a voyage into the unknown. The road stretched out before me, a ribbon of asphalt cutting through the barren landscape. It was a stark reminder of just how remote this place is. The sun beat down on my car, the air shimmered with heat, and the only sound was the low hum of my engine. It was a surreal experience like driving through a dream. I felt like I was driving to the edge of the world. The vast emptiness around me was both intimidating and exhilarating. As I got closer to town I started to see signs of life. It was a welcome sight after miles of desolation. A gas station, a motel, a few houses scattered along the roadside. These were the first hints of civilization, small but significant. And then, finally, Hanksville itself. It wasn't much to look at, just a handful of buildings clustered around a dusty intersection. But it had a charm all its own. It wasn't much to look at, just a handful of buildings clustered around a dusty intersection. Yet, there was something about the place, a certain energy, a certain vibe, that drew me in. But there was something about the place, a certain energy, a certain vibe, that drew me in. It was as if the town itself had a story to tell, a story that I was eager to hear. I spent the next few days exploring Hanksville and the surrounding area. Each day brought new discoveries, new adventures, 
I hiked through slot canyons, climbed to the top of mesas, and marveled at the night sky. The natural beauty of the area was overwhelming, a constant reminder of the power and majesty of the desert. I talked to the locals, heard their stories, and learned about their lives in this remote corner of the world. Their resilience and determination were inspiring, a testament to the human spirit. And by the time I left, I realized that Hanksville wasn't just a town, it was a state of mind. It was a place that challenged me, inspired me, and left a lasting impression on my soul. It was a reminder that sometimes the most beautiful places are also the most unforgiving. The desert is a place of extremes, a place that demands respect and offers profound rewards in return, and that sometimes the greatest adventures are found in the most unexpected places. Hanksville, with its Martian landscapes and resilient community, is one of those places. Hanksville, Utah, a Martian mirage in the middle of nowhere, a place where the ordinary becomes extraordinary and where the spirit of adventure is alive and well, a place where the sky is the limit and the only thing standing between you and your dreams is yourself. In Hanksville, the possibilities are as vast as the desert itself. From the quiet plains of Nebraska, where the horizon stretches endlessly, to the Mars-like landscapes of Utah, with its rugged, otherworldly terrain, these secluded towns offer a glimpse into a different way of life, one that is often overlooked in our fast-paced world, a life stripped down to its essentials, where the focus is on what truly matters, a life where community reigns supreme, and neighbors look out for one another, and a life where the natural world takes center stage, offering a serene backdrop to daily living. Over the past six years, I've been fortunate enough to experience the unique rhythms of these isolated communities. I've learned that isolation doesn't have to mean loneliness. In fact, it can be quite the opposite. It can often lead to a deeper connection with oneself, with one's community, and with the natural world. The quiet moments allow for reflection and a sense of peace that is hard to find elsewhere. It's surprising how many people are choosing to trade the hustle and bustle of city life for the peace and quiet of secluded towns like Manone and Hanksville. They're discovering a new way of living, finding solace in the silence, beauty in the simplicity, and meaning in the connections they forge with their neighbors and the land around them. These connections are often deeper and more meaningful than those formed in the hustle of urban life. If you're looking for more content about off-the-beaten-path adventures and the people who choose to live life on their own terms, embracing the beauty of isolation, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future explorations. And be sure to let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video and what other hidden gems you'd like me to explore. Your feedback is invaluable and helps guide future content. Until next time, keep exploring and discovering the beauty that lies in the quiet corners of our world. Until next time, keep exploring.